But I was on a bloke that made Neville Barr look like a pussycat. They think I was on a bloke by the name of Ricky McLean. I haven't mean, got any relatives over here, but Ricky, <laughs> Ricky actually played at Carlton before he went to Richmond. And um, I was shit scared of Ricky when he was at Carlton and I went to Richmond. <laughs> and, and here I am lining up on Richmond, then I thought, geez, I don't want to had to take, take the change of job straight about that, but I did it because he was a brutal man. And um, uh, but thank God he pulled a hamstring in the, in the early in the second quarter and went off at half time. So I survived that day and we won we won the premiership. But didn't I didn't survive the next year on Neil Barn when uh, he put me to sleep? But that's what it, and that's life. Can I ask you as a um, former great one of great full backs, you played on some great full forwards of the period, Peter Hudson, Peter McKenna, um, Jez Link obviously was uh, on our side, but a great forward in that period of time. Who was the best of them, Paul, Paul the opponents you, you discussed? Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson. Oh, Mark Jackson. Jackson. No. <laughs> <laughs> I told, just, just briefly, I told a quick story earlier today about the first time I ever played on Mark Jacko Jackson was over in the West in a practice game and uh, and he was playing with uh, Mel Brown's team at the time, and Mel said it was a bit different this fella. And I, the ball came flying down first, and I went, went through the points, and I had to kick out and pull back. And I looked up, and he was this ugly looking thing on the mark. And I'm about to concentrate on my kick, and I hear this. He's <laughs> doing trump calls on the mark. And I put me off, and I kick out and pull back. And I thought, yeah, I think we have got a funny thing. <laughs> But yeah, you know, uh, Doug Wade, I reckon, was probably the toughest that I played on. Doug was like the Tony Lockett of the 60s and 70s. Uh, brilliant uh, mark, brilliant kick for goal, uh, great conversion rate. A uh, bit of nastiness in him too, you knew, you knew you were playing on him. And uh, great speed off the mark, great hands, you know, in terms of leading and taking the mark. So he was fantastic. And, uh, so, but, you know, the likes of McKenna and uh, Hudson and all those guys that I played on, they were all incredible challenge. The, um, I did make a good choice though in, when I retired in 84 when uh, Dunstall, Lockett and Ablett came into the game. So, it's a nice decision. Sid has actually asked me to read a letter to you um, that was uh, forwarded to him. This is dated the 27th of September uh, 1968. It was actually um, directed to the Director of um, the Department of Immigration. Now, you, you can understand 1968, the year before, 67 Aboriginal people were allowed to vote. And in 68, Sid was on his way, or it was at Carlton, uh, on what was his first year at the club, and um, at this particular time he couldn't uh, get a clearance. So I can remember in the six year grand final, he actually uh, was runner for the for Barassi on the day they won that premiership. Uh, in September of that year, he was invited to join the uh, the inaugural the last uh, world tour of Europe and America. It was only this, in this context that I, I wanted to read you this letter that Sid passed on to me. Again, this is directed to the Department of Immigration. Um, it's in reference to Sidney Jackson's day of birth. Further to my discussion with Mr Marriott, I now confirm that I've been informed by Mr Rockaby, Registrar General for Western Australia, that he has had examined his records for the period 1940 to 1951 and can state that no reference to the birth of Sidney Jackson was found. <laughs> Two parliamentary records held in this office include a memorandum signed by Constable J. Trelaw of the Leonora Police Station on the 4th of May 1945, to the effect that he had made inquiries regarding the birth of the above name and that he was at that time about uh, 12 months old. From that time onwards, the date of birth has been accepted as being the 1st July 1944 for all official purposes. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Merrick's transmission of this information to your Melbourne office to enable a passport to be issued to Mr Jackson to enable him to join a football team leaving for America shortly is very much appreciated. Yours faithfully, F.E. Year, Commissioner of Native Welfare. That was a, a, a letter that granted you effectively citizenship for Australia, Sid. Um, a very important paper in your life, and uh, it must be a, a great thing to reflect on, on this particular letter all these years on. That's quite true. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, uh, but uh, that's only one piece of paper. Uh, that, uh, I, I 
that, and my file goes about that thick. That's uh, only one, one, one little part of it. So uh, anyway, I've survived. Uh, I've got a passport. Went over to Ireland and kissed the Barney Stone, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a lot of friends there, and uh, all sorts of things like that. But I just happy to be here. Uh, you guys, uh, I've, I've lived in Bunbury and the southwest all my life, but I haven't been out this way, so this is great to be here. Thanks very much for inviting us for a start. And I'm with my great friends over here at the Carlton Football Club Players. They're great. And uh, we had a great trip up here, so thanks very much for inviting us. Uh, I'm sort of Carlton, always been Carlton, I've always been East Perth, and I've yes. always been South Bunbury. Oh, no! <laughs> When you hear that letter, uh, it's, it's just not about me, it's about a lot of kids that, that happened uh, years ago, what happened when they, when they came in, and uh, uh, they happened to them and when they came into all sorts of institutions all over the country. I was like one of the lucky ones, I got, got sorted out through, through the situation and uh, uh, we got uh, spotted by uh, the South Country Footy Club from the Mission and they uh, come and play for us and uh, that's where it all started. And West Australia is my home. That's where I started, out of the Rollins Mission, into South Bunbury, into East Perth, and out to Carlton. So, uh, somehow I hung in there and uh, here I am. And I uh, ended up playing in uh, uh, three premierships, two winning ones and uh, one losing one. We, uh, we actually won the uh, game in uh, 1970. There was 121,669 people there. Sorry. 121,669. And 30,000 people. There we go. 30,000 people yelled out uh, when I ran out, you black bass. And I looked around and I said, they must be friends, I'm the only black fella around here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. 